<laughs> All right, so if you guys don't know, this is uh, Mike from Dirt Perfect's trailer we got up on the lift. This is actually a second part video. I'll put a link in the description to the uh, first part of the video. So we've uh, pretty much got his whole trailer tore apart as you guys can see. First video, we uh, pulled out a bunch of airbags, rusty old airbags. Randy's got those over here getting ready to go in the trash. They're all uh, cracked up and all that stuff. Pulled out all his brake chambers. You guys can see those are all rusted up. They're getting ready to go in the scrap metal shocks. The big thing was his U-bolts. You guys can see that little bitty U-bolt there. That's supposed to be an inch in diameter. It's supposed to look like all these laying over here. So we're going to replace those um, today. It's about the next step we got going on. Kevin actually uh, painted where all the old airbags was. We uh, cleaned those all up and painted them, put some uh, primer and stuff on those. So that stuff's all cleaned up. In the back of his trailer, his light bar was rusted out. Um, all this stuff, I replaced this, weld that up. That's all in the uh, previous video. Fortunately, I didn't get uh, any action shots on uh, Kevin touching all that stuff up. I was gone, so. What we're gonna work on is getting these U-bolts replaced. Um, we popped one out here. We gotta take these out. You guys can see it's all rusted inside these pockets, so we're concerned about those. Um, holding because actually the way this axle sits on top here whenever this thing is loaded It is holding all the weight of the load those u-bolts are so they're really important. So we're going to replace all those And then the next thing we'll probably do is get to uh, make sure all these slack adjusters are working shafts are turning and all that good stuff before we start putting on uh, All the new airbags brake chambers and all that stuff. So We'll get at it Freebie zip. What are we doing today? Nada. Huh? What are we doing? Uh, We're getting ready to put on some new uh, some of hub seals. Yeah. They go on all these uh, axles here. The old ones are all dirty and leaking. They're hard to see. So uh, set this down here. These axles actually run oil in them. This actually has your oil level here. So if they get dirty, cracked up, they start leaking. You can't see what's going on. So Mike wanted new hub seals on them. So me and Kevin's going to get after it. We got all the flanges uh, cleaned up. We're going to get those bolted on and then we'll put uh, oil in them and we'll actually kind of overfill them first. It takes a long time for all the thick uh, gear oil to run back through the bearings on these. So you have to come back through and check them two or three times. So Kevin's getting new shiny bolts too, huh? That's right. Just going all out. Yeah, it's free. Free. They're right over there. We're not paying for it, huh? You can get yeah. them right over Somebody there. Somebody has to pay for it. Uh oh. Oh, I don't. Yeah. He's gonna get those stuck. They're just simple gasket and bolt on. There's nothing fancy to them. These are actually aluminum hubs too. Wow. Racing edition. Yep. Yeah. Pow. You got it on upside down. Give it a second. Okay. He's gonna get them bolted up and then we'll put some oil in them. Yep. Oh. All right, we got the hub seals all on. New shiny bolts. You guys can see the oil level. We're overfilling right now. You need this. Give me that. You really done it now. Slobber. <laughs> Just like me. Well, so you notice we overfilled it. As I said <laughs> earlier, it takes a long time for this thick oil to run back through the bearings. You just don't want to fill those up and walk away from them. The full line's actually down here. We're like a half inch full, but here in 20, 30 minutes, that should run back down and be halfway close. We'll have to come back by and top them off again. Is this why you gave me this job? It's empty. <laughs> Did it just run out? I'm not stupid. <laughs> this is not my first day in the job. <laughs> Did it run out, really? Uh, well, we got one little fart. Damn. We might have enough. You got one more? Yeah. Oh, yeah. That sounds like somebody else. You know, I get a lot of comments on that. Do you? I'm not going to go into... <laughs> Bodily exhaustions? <laughs> yeah. All right, Kevin's going to get that last one uh, topped off here, and we'll let those run down. We're going to go work on the... Uh, the uh, slack adjusters and the shafts get those moving all right so we're back in the brakes here this is a slack adjuster and this is i guess a pivot shaft they call it so there's a grease fitting on each end of this pivot shaft here somebody painted this you know who that was no i don't 
And there's a grease spitting in the uh, slack adjuster. We're going to make sure these all take. You only want to put a couple, two or three shots in these, especially over here by the brakes, because you don't want extra grease falling down in the brakes. We'll make sure all this t stuff takes. These are pivoting brakes are working. We're just going to keep on checking everything and moving our way on up. I know that first axle up there is a little sticky. I think they're going to take. Go ahead. It's not looking I'm good say already. No. Not looking good already. I'm gonna say no. Should we go for number two? Yeah, go for it. Yep. Oh, that one's working. She's a spooger. How about this one? Yep. Oh, she's pooping out the back there. <laughs> Look at that. It's good for it. So, I'm gonna take the fitting out over there. You gonna try this side, or we're gonna keep on the. We better fix that. We better fix that. I can't remember this. We'll get a new grease fitting and take that out and see if we can get that one to take over there. All right, Kevin got that old grease fitting out. I'm going to take a uh, drill bit in here. Sometimes these get full of hardened grease and caca. Make sure that's cleaned out. Seems pretty good. You got a new grease fitting? Right there. Right there. Hopefully. This might fix our problem. If I get it in there. I think you're going to come hold my hand. You can't get it? I can't get it. You just want me to put my hand in there too. <laughs> I need some sausage fingers in here. I got plenty of little smoky so links here. <laughs> with nails. There we go. How about a wrench? Oh. 7 16ths I think. I'm sure it's going to tighten up in the wrong spot too. It's just my luck today. Perfect. Less perfect. That's wanting to be downtown. Exactly. All right, grease gun. All right. Oh yeah. One more. You got her. That one's brand new. Like new condition. Brand new. All right, so I got this side to take two. We're going to move on up to the next axle and keep repeating the process. All right, so we're up here in the front axle. I don't know if you guys can see this. This uh, bearing here in this pivot shaft actually has a straight grease fitting on that. And there's no way to actually get a grease gun on there whatsoever. So I doubt those have ever been greased. Kevin pulled this side out. I'm gonna try. This is not looking good, Kevin. Oh boy. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna get a grease fitting in there. No. Without taking the slack adjusters off. Oh boy. Apparently nobody's ever greased this since it was redone or put back together way back when, 20 some years ago. More screwed. So, I guess we're gonna have to pull the slack adjusters off. This shaft over here is actually stuck and turning. You got, if you watched the first video, you'd probably seen that one wasn't working. So we're probably going to uh, have to take these off. <laughs> it looks like a fun time. So just snap ring holding those on. We'll pull those off. See if we can't get these to take in grease. Price is averted. So we couldn't get these off very easy without getting a torch out and crap. So. What we actually done, I actually took this grease fitting apart here. We're gonna do it on this one over here. Took it apart into two pieces, threaded the base in there, then put the uh, put the uh, other piece on. We'll see if we can do that on this one. And a little spring and a ball in there, you can't lose. Maybe. And this one they don't want coming apart. There we go. Take it apart like that and we'll put this base in here and then uh, tighten her back up. Cross your fingers. Ready?
Where's it going? Probably to a place that hadn't seen grease in a long, long time. I don't see it coming out anywhere. So. Oh, there she comes. Like an earthquake. Or what, to, what are them called? Volcanoes. Volcano. That's what we call them. Typhoon. It's got to be coming out somewhere. I definitely ain't had any grease for a couple days. Oh, there she comes. You tried to get me, didn't you? She likes the second shot. Now we just got to get this shaft to start turning. I hope I go. It's up with you. Oh, yeah. All right, so I think before we put the new brake chambers in, we're gonna go through here and put these uh, new U-bolts in. Those brake chambers are gonna take up some of our room to work in there, so we're going to, uh, I took this one out. We're gonna go ahead and get it put in there, get some new nuts on it. Kevin's getting a little mini impact out. It's about to get real. All right, so Kevin's got that one snugged up. We're just gonna do these kind of one at a time. He's taking the bolts loose on this one over here. Looks like we need a hammer on that nice rut. Oh, you got it. <laughs> How's that going for you? Huh. Try the other side. I did spray these the other day. That's what it was. I needed that. Lubricant. Got it. Well, in doubt, well, break it out. That's how you know you need new U bolts. Yeah, it's not quite an inch diameter anymore. You guys can see that. Uh, Comparison there definitely definitely needs replaced. Now the fun part comes to beating that out of there, Kevin. Sledgehammer time. it moved you know what the best part is what we got like 11 more to do awesome. huh. we, need, from up we here. need a lot of All right, so Kevin had a pretty good idea. We hope it works. I'm gonna go ahead and cut this U-bolt off right here. The other side already broke off and is gone. This piece up here is loose, but the bolt's stuck here. So I'm gonna cut this off here. Then Kevin's got a bunch of washers stacked on here and he's gonna try to take an impact and actually suck that thing out or it's gonna break or something's gonna happen. One of the three. It's gonna be awesome. Huh? 
What do you think? I don't know. She's spinning now. We can probably get this out of here. I'll probably hit it down with a punch in the hammer, too. What are you doing? Did it. Hey, that one's pretty good. That's what a good half inch. Yeah. Yeah. And you might be able to reuse that one. That looks like a bone. <laughs> anyway, Kevin got it. It uh, pretty much fell out there. We're all pulled out so we'll get that rust cleaned off put the new one in there and then we'll keep on repeating the process i'll probably set you guys up in time lapse on this one here then we'll knock the other ones out and work on the next fun process of this here tray the rebuild we're having a blast we are having a blast aren't we Ching chongers. All right, we got these new brake chambers here and they leave the rods long on them so for different applications. The rods on our old ones are eight inches so I got a nut set here. Sure. We're gonna get all those cut off just that easy. Why would you do this like that? Okay. So I'll take that uh, thing over in the grinder, I'll put a little bevel on that, then we'll run this nut off and that will actually re-thread that in where Kevin boogered it all up. I didn't bugger nothing, that's machine. Look at that. You know what? You got five more to do. I'm pretty excited about this. So we're gonna get all those cut and then we'll put the new clevises on the ends and we'll uh, start getting those all bolted up. Kevin got uh, finished up, he got all the U-bolts in there and all three axles you guys seen us put these on. We got the other two done up there. You guys can see all the old old U-bolts, what's left of them. They wasn't in very good shape, none of them. We had to cut a bunch of them and pull them out. But anyway, it's brake chamber time. That's right. All right, we got these all cut off, beveled them, and actually run the nuts off to kind of rethread that in. It's got brand new clevis ends for them. We're gonna get those all screwed on there, loosely. And then I think we need to put the uh, adapter fittings in here, right? Adapter kit. Adapter fittings. We'll get thread tape on those. We got brand new uh, brake hoses over there in the box. Because somebody cut half of them. Dude, they were pros. <laughs> they were. We're going to get these new uh, fittings out. Stick them in those. going to start calling me a hack. A I hacker. I will take offense to it. A hacker. We'll get you a box of tissues. <laughs> it hurts. Anyway, it hurts. You don't need counseling. You got all the counseling I, you need right here. I do go counseling. These people will counsel you, counsel you in the comments. I'm telling you right now. They're always commenting about you. <laughs> some's good, some's bad. Like I said, I cry myself to sleep at night. It's okay. <laughs> anyway, we're going to get some fittings in there. Then we'll start sticking these brake chambers in. All right, we got all the fittings on these. I hit my head, I'm gonna cry. So I don't know if I told you guys, you see these two are different. There's actually a spring chamber in the side of here. These here just have a rubber pancake gasket. So whenever you hit the brake pedal, it actually shoots air in here. It's gonna extend this rod out. 
and apply the brakes over there. These here have that same chamber right here, but on the back side there's actually a spring in there, so whenever the air pressure drops below, say, 60, 65 PSI, that spring will actually automatically engage, setting the brakes. So, like I say, if the truck runs out of air, you got brakes, and that's just on the middle axle in this trailer. Wouldn't those on the middle? Yeah. You forgot, didn't you? Yeah. So we're going to put, you're going to put that on there. Yeah. So what these are going to do, they're going to push out, push out. There's an S cam right here and actually pushes both the brake shoes out when you push the uh, brake pedal. Are you getting her there? Yep. Yep. Don't you worry. I got it. No help to you. And just two nuts that hold them on. And we've got to replace these brake lines. They're all old and Cause you cut them. They don't swivel. Because you cut them. Yeah, I see why you cut them out. Yeah. <laughs> uh -huh. I got the clevis here for you, too. You want me to do everything for you? Listen. We're going to have to get some adjustment going on here. So listen. Well, let me get a wrench and I'll crank this out for you. Okay. Is that what you want? All right, Kevin got the bolts tightened on the brake chamber over. You guys can see that. Yeah, tighten that jam nut up. 15 sixteenths on the jam nut. So I'm gonna go ahead and adjust this brake adjuster, and this is the same for almost any S cam brake. So we're going to uh, tighten the brake drums out. They're going up against the uh, or the brake shoes are going against the brake drum right now. You tighten them up till they get snug, and then you want to back them off a half turn. So the wrench is sitting here. That means we need to be over here. Let's drop my wrench, bub. And since these are self-adjusting, they've got a uh, ratchet in them. All right, we're going to go a half turn here. Oh. Okay. So that gives a little bit of clearance to the brakes. Here, they're just barely dragging like they should be. We're going to repeat the process five more times. Yep. That's right. It's a little different situation on these since they have a spring brake. They're actually applied right now because there's a spring in there. So what we'll have to do is shoot air into the front of the trailer and that air is going to fill this emergency side of this chamber and release this rod. Then you can adjust the brakes. So when you unhook the air, that brake is going to come back on. So, But these without the uh, spring brake in them, you can adjust with no air in them. All right, so we got the uh, middle brake chambers in, the spring brake chambers. I left them backed off for now. We'll wait till we get air on or get outside and actually adjust these. Like I said, those have a spring chamber on them. So got those on. We got all new brake hoses everywhere. Um, all, uh, all six brake chambers there. You guys can see those. Actually got the airbags put in up here. I will show you guys in the back. It's a little easier to see how we put those on. We got new... Uh, new hardware and all that stuff so and we got two more left back here to put in that last two just showed up we got some more bolts for these randy i use them all so there's four bolts that thread in the bottom of here um we'll actually put anti-seize and stuff on those so they don't uh broke this is actually just aluminum or plastic housing you got steel inserts in there you can see so We'll uh, get those up there and put them on. All right, we got those two rear airbags on there. Only thing left to do now is to tighten them up. Find this one. Here 
here. A couple up here on the side. Got that one. So I'm gonna go up above here and tighten these up. Yeah. All right, got all the airbags in there. Next thing we gotta do is hook these uh, airlines back up again. You guys can see that or not. We've gotta get a fitting in there. We got the old ones that come out. They're all rusty and nasty looking and broken off. And not the right kind. So we got some new uh, brass ones. We're gonna get all those hooked up. Uncle Scott's putting the steer in the car over here. What'd you do that for? Huh? What traction. do you do that for? Traction? Yep. Mike said there's a screw in there. That's probably why there's no air in the tower, huh? We're going to fix that. He's going to fix that. And I'm going to get all these airlines hooked up. And then, I think we'll be about ready to set her on the ground, won't we? Oh, we got one more. We do have to put this one more airbag in here for the axle, uh, lift axle. I'm going to get these six airbags hooked up first, and then we'll mess with that one. Get her blowed up. She's on there. She's on there. What kind of patch you put in there? One of them genuine tire plugs? Yeah, that's right. Patch from the inside. Patch from the inside. So it's going to be golden, right? Only way to do it. Another million miles of service out of it. That's right. Randy did air all the other tires up. Some of them are kind of low and stuff. So we got all the hubs topped off too. I'm up here. I've got a couple more lines that I'm uh, putting up on the airbags way up in here. You guys can see we got a couple more fittings to put in yet. And then these six air ba bags to be done. We'll just have to do the uh, rear lift axle next. So. All right, Randy got busy outside. Uncle Scott's helping me now. We got the uh, rear axle lift bag we're getting ready to put in. I got the air fitting, new air fitting in it. So if you guys watched the first video, we had to raise this axle up to get enough um, slack in between there. You can see right now there's only about four or five inches of uh, room. So I'm gonna pick you guys up here. You ready? How's that look? That looks a lot Maybe. Let me do something. Need a little more up. Oh, we're gonna get ready. How much do you want me to do? I just need some air to get that bag. Okay. I might want to go up a click. I won't let it back. Get your fingers out of the way? Yeah. Beautiful. Air fitting all right? Mm, yep. All right. Okay. 
you guys can see that there we got the bolts here we're gonna have to suck these top ones in a little bit and these just barely got some threads hanging out then i'm gonna hook this air hose up it goes up to that uh, pilot valve up there got something Tighten another side. Yeah. That's it on that. Scott's gonna tighten another side. I'm gonna get a new airline and run up here. And then I think we'll be ready to put the put the shocks on that. All right, got some new hardware. We got new shocks putting on. The old ones are rusted off. Got some Moreau Magnums going on there. New bolts, new lock nuts. It'd be brand new back here. Me and Scott gonna get after these gonna fit yeah just gotta make sure you got it turned where it says monroe, monroe magnum, magnum right in the back so they know not to mess with you you gonna need a little hammer for those and that gotcha now how fast are you not very fast at all see if you can stab it in the hole when i cut it <laughs> you ready? Yep. Oh, look at that. Uh oh, you got denied. It's a little snug, ain't it? Mm hmm. Mm. You got lucky there. So anybody don't know, most of these shocks have, uh, there's oil in them, plus there's what, some pressure, nitrogen pressure? Nitrogen so they put those uh, retainers on them to ship them. When you cut them, they'll extend out. So if you're good, you can be real quick and slam a bolt in. If not, you've got to force that back up. Let me go up a little bit this lift. It may be all the way down. Yeah. How'd that do for you? Need a lineup bar? Yeah. We'll get a lineup bar somewhere. We had all these tools out and just put them all up. All right, we're gonna repeat the process on two more axles up here and get all these tightened down. And then uh, I think we'll be ready to uh, hang a couple mud flaps on there. We'll probably lower it down a little bit. Get these lights hooked up. We'll get our DOT reflective tape put back on up here. And then we'll be golden. I gonna say hi. Hi. She's out here inspecting our trailer job. How are we doing? Scott's doing stellar. Scott's putting the finishing touches on down below here, and then we're gonna set her down the ground. We've got them some new mud flaps. I don't know if that's a good idea to put these on here or not, though. I don't know. Depends Should I put driving. not trailer shop on here? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we have Tucker make a sticker. <laughs> not trailer shop. We're gonna get these tightened up, then lower her down a little bit and work on this back. Got the trailer lowered down. Scott's got those uh, tires on. I'm gonna raise it back up a little bit so we're not bending over. You ready? Yeah. Ought to be good there. So we got new light rubbers. Mike said all the old lights is working, so I'm not going to put new ones in it. I'm sure there's going to be one out now, isn't there, Andy? So we're going to get those all put back in there, get the grounds hooked back up. Got the side ones in. Scott's tightening that tire up. And then we'll get the DOT tape on there. And we'll be getting close to seeing what's going on. All right, so we're testing out some lights. Kevin's up there putting power in the plugs. I got a left turn signal. Kevin, you got a right, got a right turn signal over there. What about, uh, you got running lights? 
There. Yep. Do your uh, running lights again. Brake lights are working. You got the running lights on? There you go. We got some, uh, a couple bulbs bad. And we've got a, uh, this one I don't think is getting any power over here. We've got to look into that. I may just go ahead and get them a set of bulbs. I don't know. If not, they're all going to be funky looking. So we're going to dive into that and see uh, why that one's not getting power over there. It may have a ground issue. This one over here is not working either. I don't know if we got another bad bulb or what. I know that one in the center is bad. We test it, but we're going to get that all figured out. And then uh, we're going to get some DOT tape on her next. All right, I sent Randy off to go get some lights. Unfortunately, we didn't have enough of them. we are got, got to get enough to uh, replace the bad ones. So we're going to put uh, DOT tape on next. Kevin just wants to use this super sweet it is, sharp it is knife. So Keep by law, you have to have 100% of uh, reflective tape on the back of your trailer. And I think the new law, somebody can correct me wrong, I think you have to have 100% down the sides now. This one only has 50%. I think they may change it to 100, but since the trailer's built before, whatever, this trailer's old, doesn't matter. But anyway, we're going to get uh, new fresh DOT tape on the back, reflective tape. So in theory, if your lights go out, somebody can still see you before they run into you, right? <laughs> <laughs> and then I think we're going to set it on the ground and uh, throw some air in it and see what kind of uh, leaks and crap we hope we don't have. So. All right, Kevin's got the air hose out. He's getting ready to uh, plug the uh, brake side in. I'm gonna make sure these brakes are working. You should see these arms push out. You ready, Kevin? You guys seen those push out, aired up. All right, go ahead and uh, unhook it. We should see these fall back. Guys, see those are going back like that. All right, plugged in one more time. Yep. All right. Those all seem to be working. What are you doing down in the hole? Fixing an atom bomb. Fixing an atom bomb. So somewhere along the line, this rod actually hooks up to a, a leveling valve down there. You guys see that leveling valve? That's actually what adds and lets out air out of the airbags. This one actually broke. I don't know if it was old. It kind of looks rusty in there. The rubber broke. It's probably from us lifting up there. Anyway, I had a new one in stock. We got that replaced here with the new rod. Kevin's going to stick air back in the trailer, but as you load the trailer down with the air ride, it's going to push the weight down. And that leveling valve is going to swing up and it's going to call for more air until it levels back up. Right here's actually one. So when it's in the straight position, it's calling for no air. When you put weight on it, it's going to push that arm up like that. And then it's going to call for air and air those bags up back to that same height. The same way if you got something heavy unloaded, that arm's going to go down. And it's going to let air out of those bags so it goes back to your normal ride height. So pretty much no matter how much weight you put on these air ride trailers, they're going to stay the same height. They're not like a spring, leaf spring type thing. So the weight you put on the leaf springs is just going to keep going down. But Air Ride tries to maintain that by putting more air in the airbag. So, getting aired up. I don't hear any leaks. The brakes are all working. I got the rear lift axle down. Flip it up. Airbag comes up. Picks up the rear axle there. When this axle comes up, it's actually put more weight on those, so in turn, it should put a little more air on these two axles here to help level it all up and everything. So, going up, we've got the front of the trailer up a little bit too high, too. We got it sitting on some jack stands. You think we got all that? She's done. She's done. We just got to get these lights fixed back here. We'll be all done. Randy got us some new lights, so we're going to uh, throw the power back in them. I think when I replace all these, they were bad. 
and then see what we got. All right, I think we got them all fixed. We got the running lights all on right now. Kevin's got them energized up. Let's check the sides over here too, Kevin. And turn this back on. Got those all up through there. I'm gonna turn the uh, flashing lights off. They run off the uh, light circuit. How about some uh, turn signals and brake lights? We got brake lights, yep. Left turn signal, right turn signal. Should be golden. The little side one's working too, the turns. Got left. How about turn signal? That's the right one. Yep. The left flashing up the side. Got the right one flashing up there. I think we're all good. Hooray. We're going to get these lights stuck back in here and then do a once over, and I think we'll be good to go. You ready? Yep. Mm -hmm. We got the lights put in there. We're gonna give them one last, uh, one last test, make sure they're all working. I'm gonna turn the flashers back on here. Yeah, took a little, let me check this side one. Took a little bit for the flashers to come on, but. All right, how about some brake lights and turn signals? You got, no, we got one brake light now, huh? How's that happen? Oh my gosh. This is this is your side of oh what do you do over here? It's a pair of side cuts. Did you? I seen it try to come on. Alright, I got it working, had to plug loose. Was that your fault? No. We'll blame Randy, he's not here. How about some turn signals? Left turn signal. Right turn signal, you got her. You know what this means, Kevin? What? We are officially done with this trailer. You know what else that means? CNC trailer shop is officially closed. We're shut down for good. We're having a liquidation sale. A liquidation. Tools. Yeah, we're, we're liquidating all of our trailer tools. So we do not work on trailers, especially especially after this episode. So I think that's a wrap on this. We're gonna clean our tools up, drag this trailer outside, and uh, call Mr. Dirt Perfect himself and tell him to come get this fine jewel. I think she's ready for a full season of hauling so we'll uh, wait till he gets here and we'll do a recap on the stuff we did and go from there all right guys it's uh, Saturday afternoon I don't know if you can see that truck in front of me there but that might look familiar actually heading over to the shop uh, Mike's gonna pick up his trailer. We're gonna show him everything we've done to it and we're gonna get her hooked up. All right, Mike's here. He's got the trailer hooked up. What do you think? Man, I know she's not a new one, but she's an old but good one. Oldie but goodie. And, uh, I think we got some more life put back in. I so. think so. If I get in there four, five, six, ten years out of it. I think you'll be fine. <laughs> I know one thing's for sure. I know you guys are in trailer shop. No, I, think I, I brought it to the right place. I told everybody when we pulled this out, we officially closed the trailer <laughs> shop. So. No, you guys did an awesome job. Awesome job. I can't, uh, I can't fault anything on it. I appreciate you. Appreciate you making an exception and sticking it in the shop. I really yep. do. Sounds good. Well, I'm glad it uh, worked out. So. Yep. Thanks a million. All right, guys. That's a wrap on that uh, trailer project. Uh, Mike's heading back to um, Derby. Got the trailer all hooked up. If you guys like this kind of stuff, definitely give me a thumbs up. It helps me out a lot. And uh, we definitely got some more cool stuff coming out, collaborating together on some stuff. So, um, guys, let me know what you think. Leave some comments, and uh, we'll see you guys next time. Hey, I can't see what you're doing in here. What are you doing in here? 
getting this wrench out, you stuck, bub. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. See, I'll flip flop this on you. <laughs> It's a proud moment, ain't it? Randy, did you hear what Clinton did? Oh. Yeah, he, he got a 9 16th wrench stuck on there. So he's using another 9 16th wrench to take the other 9 16th off. <laughs>